Biobase Delta is a cooperation between the provinces of North Brabant, Zeeland and South Holland, where companies, knowledge institutes and local and regional governments work together in order to create the biobased economy. We do this in a so-called triple helix structure. That means companies are in the lead with the knowledge institutes and governments are in a facilitating role to help and to create together an ecosystem so that companies and entrepreneurs can flourish in this region with their innovative work to achieve that biobased economy as soon as possible. The projects that are ongoing in the Biobased Delta are all related to our theme Agro meets Chemistry. So many are more on the agricultural side and many are more on the chemical side. Of course, what we aim to do is to connect agro and uh, chem chemistry. Um, examples that I can mention, for instance, is the valorization of agro and food rest streams. Point in case, uh, natural fibers. Uh, we can see uh, plant ingredients that are uh, proteins from agro rest streams. Um, we see projects that are uh, focusing on small-scale biorefinery. Um, we see projects that are algae, macro or microalgae projects, where of course again um, doing uh, biorefinery on those uh, biomass streams is of, uh, of key importance. On the chemical side uh, we also aim to green the chemical industry and for that we need a lot of biomass. And we have found that sugars from sugar beet or sugars from uh, lignocellulose extremes are extremely well suited to serve that, that agenda. And so that means we'd like to do large-scale biorefinery projects on that side and make from sugars and lignin valuable products for the chemical industry, going into materials, coatings and other uh, applications. Um, as a concrete example, I'd like to mention particularly the project that BioRizen is doing at the Green Chemistry Campus. BioRizen is a collaboration between TNO and VITO, and their main focus is on creating bioaromatics from biomass, sugar or lignin in this particular case. I often say that the bio-based economy is characterized by many opportunities, but also many threats. But I believe that the opportunities outweigh the threats by a large factor, so I'm very optimistic in this sense. Um, I really believe that uh, if we can build the right business cases uh, with the triple helix, um, you know, we can, we can also get the investment and the jobs created here in the, in the region, particularly since it's, uh, it's clear that we have a very good raw material position in the Delta. And that is due to the uh, possibilities of sugar beets in this region. Um, there will be significant investment and we believe that the sugar beet is a uh, very attractive uh, crop to serve the bio-based economy, not just for food and feed, but also for non-food applications, in particular, point in case, for the chemical industry. I think the future of the bio-based economy can be a bright one if we are really able to make the connections and the collaborations uh, that are needed. Um, with the many stakeholders that we uh, need to address in creating new value chains coming from the agro side all the way to say brand owners that finally will sell the bio-based products. Um, if I think about it, um, that requires uh, collaboration between large companies and small companies, between the different sectors, many crossovers, agro, chemistry, energy, logistics, water. Um, but it also uh, requires international collaboration. Uh, we already do a lot of uh, work together with Flanders, for instance. 
but we also, as Biobase Delta, have a collaboration uh, with northern France, particularly the area of Picardy and Champagne Ardennes. We signed this year an agreement with Canada that has somewhat of a similar agenda on the uh, R&D side, but on top of it, they are also uh, providers of large amounts of uh, biomass. So we need to make sure we get raw materials, we need to make sure that we have um, the right ecosystem here with knowledge, with infrastructure, logistics, uh, with um, the, a right human capital agenda as well. Um, but also uh, we need financing. I mean, th this bio-based economy requires large sums of investment. So we need to find the companies that are willing to work with us on the, on the right business cases that will lead to a bright future here in the Delta region for the bio-based economy.